For Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with Dark Fiber Africa, Strategy, Mergers and Acquisitions and Innovative Executive, Nino Govinda. How important is it for Dark Fiber Africa to be able to assist the country in supplying the infrastructure and the capability of fiber? Um, I, I think we play a, an important role, uh, uh, critically a, a in the country, uh, to deploying uh, infrastructure. In fact, you know, we talked about public-private partnerships. Uh, we, we do not just uh, roll out the uh, infrastructure, but we also, uh, you know, the, the private company raise the capital and finance to fund the deployment of infrastructure uh, that's required in the country. And, and it's very important. I mean, you know, we enable the, uh, the mobile network operator environment through, uh, through Backhaul, like I mentioned, and a number of our customers, uh, end users, the consumers, are using mobile data to connect. We enable the fixed network operators out there to have to the home services as well as wireless services. Uh, you know, on, on, on licensed and unlicensed microwave to meet the demand, we have fiber demand. Um, you know, critical mass isn't evident, but we back all the traffic. So we enable multiple access technologies to provide reach and connectivity to the market. And, and, and we're also committed to, uh, you know, to, to you know, DFA as, um, you know, connected uh, working partnership with Reflex and we've, um, uh, the, the COVID units of Baragwanat Hospital. We currently have approval from a department to connect two COVID health sites in Peter Marisburg, and we're actually looking at a solution now to uh, replicate what we done at Barra at, uh, at Steve Biko uh, Hospital. And, 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 and we do this at, at zero charge because, you know, we want to make uh, the, 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 uh, the experience of patients as well as the efficiency and experience of health workers uh, much better uh, you know, during these trying times. Um, and, uh, you know, just to contribute further in meeting bandwidth requirements during this COVID time, uh, we've, we've, we've increased the back of the access and backup capacity to the worst the FNOs and the enterprise customers uh, at zero charge, uh, you know, just so that they could cope with the increased demand of traffic. Uh, we're working more in, in, a, uh, in a remote uh, working environment. The demand for fiber has increased exponentially globally due to COVID-19 pandemic. How has South Africa's mobile data consumption increased in comparison? And how has Dark Fiber Africa helped to meet the increased demand? You know, when you look at, at mobile data uh, consumption, it, it hasn't differed from the pattern uh, experience globally. Um, that's evident in the fact that, uh, you know, additional spectrum had to be uh, provided to the uh, mobile network operators so they could have headroom and, and, and increasing data capacity uh, on the networks. Uh, DFA currently connects uh, a, a large number of the uh, uh, mobile network provider towers. So by giving them the dark fiber transmission backhaul, uh, you know, they didn't have to necessarily invest in infrastructure. They could just scale up the bandwidth for backhaul, enabling them to meet the uh, demand for mobile data services, uh, increased demand both from a customer number. This also uh, helped uh, the mobile network operators to, to meet the backhaul uh, requirements to service the increased de demand for data capacity and the radio access network. All right, and then um, it has been said that the consumption pattern will most probably likely not go back to normal. In your opinion, what is the new normal? So, uh, you know, we consider the, the, the new normal as a very low-touch economy. And if you apply that concept of low-touch, it's low-touch retail, low-touch healthcare, low-touch consumer services, low-touch business services. All these low-touch customer in, uh, experience and engagement points will be driven through digital applications and uh, uh, which, uh, whether it's on the consumer side or, or in the business side, uh, you know, we still see, uh, we see uh, you know, a large number of organizations maintaining the, the, the flexible uh, on-site versus remote working environment. This will drive uh, capacity requirements and, um, uh, you know, because you're using a, a richer stack, a higher stack and a richer stack of, uh, of, uh, of uh, digital applications that, that, that increase your bandwidth requirement. 
uh, and uh, you know, to service this, we service it with a number. They need to service it with a number of access technologies, wireless and fiber. But um, uh, but what's important to note is that at the back of this will always be uh, fiber backhaul because it has the uh, ability to scale to accommodate the increased backhaul.